We have known each other for 38 years. We've been married 35, right. but we've been in business 32. True. We still like each other. That's true. It's amazing. <laughs> oh my gosh, it started in 1988. And we both knew we wanted to own our own businesses. We wanted something we could build and help people. The industry that we got into, which was the staffing industry, just checked all the boxes for what we wanted. So in 1988, we bought a franchise of a staffing company and came back to the East Coast to start it and grew that for 15 years. We had a contract with them. I think the hardest year we went through was um, the year 9-11 hit. Um, we were going about our business, everything was great. We were the top franchise uh, out there in the country. And um, we had a year left on our contract. And then three months later, 9-11 hit and half our business went away. Three months after that, we transitioned to become a, a non-franchise. We had a coach helping us decide how we were gonna grow this business because we decided after going through 9-11, we wanted to be a national staffing business. And I remember sitting down with Coffee and Mike and the coach and they said, we need you to lead this company. As the company changed and morphed and it became apparent that there needed to be a more emphasis on culture, there came Tana's main strengths. She has a grasp on culture that is genuinely heartfelt. The, the company culture is so important to me that people feel valued and people understand what their strengths are. And that we're empowering the working workforce. How can we not empower ourselves first? So for me, that is the most important thing in our culture and our values are everything. We have strengths that we don't use because we were told we shouldn't use them. My one that my mother always said was I was bossy. Well, now I'm leading the company. So we jumped into transportation and we started a uh, truck driving placement company, which we sold in 2018, but we built a huge brand in 26 states and we had about 2,500 drivers around the country. And that was a fun endeavor to do, but we never left our roots of the industrial, which was Remedy, Strataforce, and now my work choice. And necessity is the mother of invention. We refuse to be defined by any one path. In 2016, we started My Work Choice. It's when we really pivoted away from the normal, traditional staffing. So My Work Choice is a technology and an app that is on their smartphones. And what it does is it enables workers to be able to pick out schedules that fit their lifestyle. Great story on how we got off the ground. Uh, just showing the ingenuity of this company. Uh, bounced the idea off some folks. They all thought it was kind of crazy. We saw that that opportunity to create flexibility was a key. We just had to figure out how to adapt that to very structured environments like manufacturing, distribution, warehousing, call centers. And that's what we did. And it was like an aha, literally. To like, my gosh, let's swim with the current here. You need to create this thing to where it gives these people what they really need and want, what they're asking for, but they haven't just vocalized it. We're one of the number one recruiters in the country right now in any market that we go into because of the offering that we have. So we're attracting a lot more talent to our clients. Oh, the sky's the limit. We are, we are growing by leaps and bounds. And to me, it's just how many lives can I serve? How many lives can I change? Ultimately, it's just, it's unlimited in what we can do. And it's not just here in the United States. I have mm. big goals for international. It, it just turned out somehow. We're still amazed. But I think I want every My Work Choice employee to know that they're making a difference. I think that's the biggest thing. And the rest takes care of itself. Thank you.